Welcome to the Madison Miller Podcast. Today is Tuesday, December 14th, 2021. Today I'm going to recap last night's Monday Night Football game, and then I'll recap last night's college basketball, NBA, and NHL games. Look ahead to tonight's slate of games in each sport. Hit or miss 2019 NFL Draft Edition. News and notes of my best bet of the day. We're going to start with Monday Night Football. Um, This was a competitive and entertaining game as the Rams came out on top by a score of 27 to 20. I'm sorry, 30 to 23. Um, Rams are 9 and 4, Cards are 10 and 3, so the NFC West got a little bit more interesting. Uh, Matt Stafford, 23 of 30, 287 yards and three touchdowns. Kyler Murray, 32 of 49, 383 yards and two interceptions. Um, so the Rams get an important win after losing to the Cardinals at home earlier in the season, going out there and getting the big win in prime time with everybody watching. All right, now I'll move on to college basketball. We'll recap the games from last night, which was a very small window, and we'll look ahead to a much larger window for tonight. All righty. Northern Illinois over Chicago State, 70-59. Princeton over UMBC, 89-77. App State over Erkstein, 69-44. Stetson over Johnson, Florida, 104-58. Nichols over Blue Mountain, 87-69. LIU over Merchant Marine, 106-48. George Washington over Radford, 67-58. New Hampshire over Keene State, 92-54. Liberty over Carver College, 95-36. Jacksonville State over... LeGrand, 110.80. Oklahoma State over Cleveland State, 98.93 in overtime. Rhode Island over Milwaukee, 82.58. Secretary over Columbia, 79.69. Albany over BC, 861.57. North Dakota State over Indiana State, 77.70. Montana over Sagu AIC, 118.49. And Portland over Cal Poly, 78.77. All right, now we look ahead to tonight's window, which is a pretty big window for a Tuesday. 6 o'clock on the ACC Network, Southeast Louisiana against Louisville. My projections for this game, Louisville by 23 to half total, 123, or 139.25. Meanwhile, um, we're going to do DraftKings today because FanDuel has a maintenance problem right now. And... Louisville's 21 and a half, total 140. Um, I'm going to lay it with Louisville. Central Connecticut, Stony Brook. My projection is Stony Brook by 27 and three quarters, so 141.05. Meanwhile, it's 16 and 137 and a half. I'm going to lay it with Stony Brook. 7 o'clock, SC Upstate in Tennessee. My projection for this game is Tennessee 35, total 137.35. Lost 34 and 138 and a half. Very close numbers. Um, slight under. Northwestern State and LSU. My projection is LSU by 30 and three quarters, total 140.8. We lost 32 and a half and 145 and a half. I'll take the under. Alabama and Troy, my projection is Troy by 15 and a quarter, total 135.6. Meanwhile, it's 12 and 130. I'll take the over. Megar Evers and St. Francis Brooklyn, we can skip. NCAT and East Tennessee State, my projection is ETSU 11 half, total 134.35. Meanwhile, it's 11 and a half and 140 and a half. I'll take the under. Carolina University, Longwood, we can skip. St. Fran, PA, and Hartford. My projection is Hartford, 12 and 3 quarters, so 148.9. Meanwhile, it's 2 and 147.5. I'm going to lay it with Hartford. Greensboro, Townsend. My projection is Greensboro by a quarter, so 133.25. Meanwhile,. It's 6.5 for Towson, 125.5. I'm taking Greensboro plus a 6.5 and plus 270 to win. 
outright. Austin P in South Florida. My projection is South Florida by two and three quarters to the one twenty seven seven. Meanwhile, it's six and one twenty five and a half. Um, I'm gonna take the Austin P plus to six. Allen U in South Carolina. We could skip. Florida A&M and Cincinnati. My projection is Cincinnati by 26 and three quarters. So 128.6. We well, it's 20 and 129 and a half. I'm going to lay it with Cincy. VMI Wake. My projection is Wake 12 to 146.55. Meanwhile, it's 15 and 148 and a half. I'm going to take VMI and the points. Furman in North Carolina. My projection is Carolina by 12 and three quarters. So 155.1. Meanwhile, it's 11 and a half and 154. Really close numbers. I'm going to do a slight lean with laying it with Carolina. Miami of Ohio, Clemson. My projection is Clemson 8, total 142.95. Meanwhile, it is 9 and 138 and a half. I'm going to take the over. Mammoth Yale, my projection is Yale by 4, total of 142.25. Meanwhile, it is. One and a half for Mammoth, total one forty seven. I'm gonna take Yale and the points and whatever the money line is. LSU Shreveport and Louisiana Technique skip. Neil Monroe and Stephen F. Austin. Now we're in the seven thirty window. My projection is Stephen F. Austin twenty and three quarters, total one forty nine nine. Meanwhile it is twelve and a half and one forty eight. I'm gonna lay the twelve and a half with Stephen F. Austin. Rambling in UAB. My projection is UAB 24, total 140.6. We would all 25 and a half and 135 and a half. Um, I'll take a juiced over. SC State at Duke at 8 o'clock. My projection is Duke 44, total 149 and uh, 149.45. Well, it's 36 and 150 and a half. I'm going to lay to 36 with Duke. Louisiana and Houston. My projection is Houston. 15 and a quarter to the 139.55. Now it's 23 139 and a half. I'm going to lay the point. Or I'm going to take Lafayette plus the 23. Arkansas State and Texas Tech. My projection is Tech by 14 and three quarters to the 142.85. Meanwhile, 24 and a half and 142. I'm going to take State in the points. Quincy and Illinois State, we can skip. Next up, Tarleton in South Alabama. My projection is South Alabama by 17 and a half, total 128. Meanwhile, it's 8 and 124 and a half. I'm going to light us 8 with South Alabama. Center College, Western Kentucky, we can skip. UNC Asheville and Tennessee Martin. My projection is Asheville by eight and three quarters, so one forty two sixty five. Meanwhile, it is um. Let's see. Four and a half and one forty three and a half. I'm gonna lay it with Asheville. Jackson State and Northern Iowa. My projection is Northern Iowa by nine and three quarters to the one thirty three. Meanwhile, thirteen F and one twenty six. I'm going to take the over. The Paul and UIC. My projection is the Paul ten and a half to the one forty four point three. Meanwhile. It's ten and a half and one forty three. Um, no choice but a slide over. Arizona State Creighton. My projection is Creighton by four and three quarters, so one thirty six. Meanwhile, seven and a half and one thirty four. I'll take Arizona State in the points. Alcorn State and Wichita State. My projection is Wichita by thirty one and a half, so one twenty nine fifty five. Meanwhile, it's twenty and a half and one twenty nine and a half. Um. I'll lay with Wichita. Georgia State and Mississippi State. My projection is Miss State six and a quarter to the one forty three twenty five. Meanwhile, sign half and one forty two and a half. I'll take Georgia State in the points. 
Northland College, St. Thomas, Minnesota. You can skip. 9 o'clock, A&M Corpus Christi. And Minnesota. And by the way, that's an 8 o'clock game. I thought it was a 9. Minnesota, 15 and a quarter. Total one three nine twenty five. Meanwhile, it's 16 and 139 and a half. Numbers are so close. But slight lean towards Corpus Christi. Sam Houston in North Texas. My projection is 13 and a quarter. Total 129.5. Meanwhile, 10 and a half and 123. I'll take the over. Coppin State Drexel. My projection is Drexel 23 and a half. Total 144.6. Meanwhile, it is 12 and 146 and a half. I'll lay to 12 with Drexel. Jacksonville and Southern Miss. My projection is Jacksonville by three quarters. Total 124.15. Meanwhile, it's Southern Miss 1, total 125. It's so close. So I'm going to take Jacksonville in the 1, slight leaning, plus 105 straight up. Little Rock and Central Arkansas. I think this should be Little Rock 1.5, total 145. 1 in terms of a projection. Meanwhile, it's 2.5 and, and 148. I'll take the under. North Central, Minnesota, North Dakota. You can skip. Texas Southern and Texas Rio Grande Valley. My projection is Southern by 1, total 145.4. This is an 8.30 game. Meanwhile, it's 3 and 149.5. And I'll take the under. 9 o'clock, Alabama, Memphis. My projection is Bama by 3 and a quarter, total 125 and a quarter. Meanwhile, it's 5.5 and, and 155. I'll take the under. North Alabama, Auburn. My projection is Auburn 19, total 138.85. Meanwhile, it is 27.5 and, and 140.5. And I'll take UNA plus the points. Pine Bluff, Texas. My projection is Texas by a whopping 45 and a quarter, total 139.3. Meanwhile, it is 34 and 134.5. And I'll lay that with Texas. Santa Clara, Boise. My projection is Boise by three quarters, total 136.85. Meanwhile, seven and a half and one thirty nine and a half. I'll take Santa Clara plus the points. I think they have a shot to win too, plus two forty five. Stanley State and St. Mary's. We could skip. UC Davis, Oregon State. My projection is State by six and a quarter, total one thirty eight forty five. Meanwhile, six and one thirty five. I'll take the over. And this is in the ten o'clock window now. And last but not least, Santa Barbara Pacific. My projection is. Santa Barbara 6, little 135.75. Well, it is 3.5 and, and 134. I'll lay to 3.5 with Santa Barbara. All right, now we'll move on to the NBA. We will recap the results from last night and look ahead to a short window for today. Cavs over to Heat, 105.94. Warriors over to Pacers, 102.100. Raps over to Kings, 124.101. Rockets over to Hawks, 132-126. Celtics over to Bucks, 117-103. Sixers over, or sorry, Memphis over to Sixers, 126-91. Mavs over to Hawks, 120-96. Nuggets over to Wizards, 113-107. Clips over to Suns, 111-95. All right, now we look ahead to today. Three games, 7-30. The Raptors and the Nets. Um, projections here. Um... Brooklyn 8, total 12-3. Meanwhile, it is um, 8 and a half and 2-16. Oh, this game's at Brooklyn? Really? When I, look, when I typed it up, I thought it said Nets at Raptors. Oh... So I gotta flip it now. That's my mistake. Fourteen. All right, now that's better. I get the lay with the Nets. TNT from the Garden Warriors. Next, Stephen Curry going for that record for most three pointers all time tonight. I project the Warriors by 10, total 2, 12, 85. Meanwhile, it's 4 and 2, 11 and a half. I'll take the Warriors all day, every day. 
This is low. The Knicks haven't played well. COVID issues galore. I'm going to lay it with Golden State. And at 10 o'clock on TNT, the Suns and the Blazers, my projection is Suns 12 and a quarter, total 217 and a half. Well, it's one and a half and two eighteen and a half. That's really low. I mean, is Dave and CJ back tonight? Um, because in my projections, I made this line not thinking Dame was gonna play. So let me just check real quick to see if he's playing or not, and. He is. So that's my mistake. I thought Dame was out. So I had to make a change on the fly here. So back down, this goes to five and a quarter. But still, I'm laying it with the Suns, whether Dame's there or not. So I'm laying it with all the favorites tonight in the NBA. All right, now we'll move on to the NHL. We'll recap last night's results, and we look ahead to a busy window for tonight. All right. Um. Oh, that's right. Flames Blackhawks was supposed to be last night, but it got postponed. Um. Because of the Flames COVID issues. And by the way, Bulls Pistons was supposed to be tonight too. That got postponed because of the Bulls COVID issues. All right, now I look ahead to tonight. Um, seven o'clock, the Golden Knights and the Bruins. Um, fun game down there. Um, all right, so. Bruins minus 135, Vegas plus 115, over under 5.5, overs minus 120, others even money. Golden Knights plus 1.5 is minus 210, Bruins minus 1.5 is plus 175. Give me Vegas plus 115 on the road, they're better than the Bruins. Um, Kings Lightning. Um, the Lightning are minus 225, the Kings are plus 180, over under 5.5, overs even money, unders minus 120. Kings plus one up is minus one forty. Lightning minus one up is plus one twenty. Um I kinda like the over in this game. I think that this could be a higher scoring game and like empty net could uh, you know, determine it. So give me the over. Sends Panthers, um, the Panthers are minus 300. The Sens are plus 235. Over under 6.5. Over minus 105. Under is minus 115. Sens plus 1.5 is, is plus 110. Florida minus 1.5 is minus 130. I like the under in this game. I think that whoever plays in that for Florida can shut down Ottawa. Devils Flyers. Phillies minus 125. Devils plus 105. Over under 6. Overs minus 105. Unders minus 115. Devils plus 1. Minus 225. Flyers minus 1. Minus plus 185. Give me New Jersey plus 105 to win outright in Philly. Habs Penguins. Um. Pittsburgh minus 300, Montreal plus 235, over under 5.5, overs minus 105, unders minus 115. Canadians plus 1.5 is plus 105, Penguins minus 1.5 is minus 125. Um, I'll take the under, I think this is a good goalie matchup here. 7.30, Islanders, Red Wings. Um... Isles minus 115, Red Wings minus 105, over under 5.5, overs plus 110, unders minus 130. Isles minus 1.5 is plus 220, Detroit plus 1.5 is minus 275. Detroit's playing well. 
I'm going to take them as a dog at minus 105. Flames Predators was postponed. Hurricanes Wild. There's a lot of games on tonight. Um, Wild minus 140. Canes plus 115. Over under 5.5. Over is minus 125. Under is even. Or I'm sorry. Plus 105. Carolina plus 1.5 is minus 195. Wild minus 1.5 is plus 165. Kind of like the Hurricanes to pick off the Wild on the road. Plus 118. Sabres, Jets, um, Winnipeg minus 265, Buffalo plus 210, over under 5.5, over is minus 120, enters even money, Buffalo plus 1.5 is minus 105, Jets minus 1.5 is minus 115, I'm going to lay the 1.5 on the puck line with the Winnipeg Jets, 8.30, Blue Stars, um, Stars minus 160, Blues plus 140, over under 5.5, minus 110 each way, Blues plus 1.5 is minus 170, Dallas minus 1.5 is plus 150, Um, Dallas has been playing well, but I think they're the most overrated team in the market right now. So give me, um, the plus, um, 140 for the Blues. Nine o'clock, the Rangers and the Avalanche. Um... The Avs are minus 205. The Rangers are plus 165. Over under 6. Over is minus 120. Under is even money. Rangers plus 1 half is minus 135. Colorado minus 1 half is plus 115. I'm going to go under 6 and even money. The Avs won't score that many goals against the Rangers again. Maple Leafs, Oilers. Um... The Oilers are even money. Montreal, or sorry, Toronto's minus 120. Over under 6.5. Over is even money. Under is minus 120. Maple Leafs minus 1.5 is plus 175. Oilers plus 1.5 is minus 210. I'm taking the Oilers at even money. Um, at um, even money on the money line. 10 o'clock, Blue Jackets, Canucks. Um, Montreal, or I'm sorry, Vancouver's minus 155. Columbus plus 135, over under 5.5. Over's minus 115, under's minus 105. Columbus plus 1.5 is minus 195. Vancouver minus 1.5 is plus 165. I'm going to go with the under 5.5 at minus 105. And the Kraken and the Sharks. 100. San Jose minus 145. Kraken plus 125 over under 5.5. Overs minus 120. Unders even money. Kraken plus 1.5 is minus 200. Sharks minus 1.5 is plus 170. Um, I like how the Kraken are playing. They're playing well. But I like the juice over 5.5 at minus 120 just a little bit better. All right, now I'm going to do hit or miss, the 2019 NFL Draft Edition. Um, the last couple weeks, I've done this on Tuesdays. Um, four weeks ago was the 2020 NFL Draft. Three weeks ago, the 2020 Major League Baseball Draft. Two weeks ago was the 2020 NBA Draft. And last week was the 2020 NHL Draft. So now we're back to um, the NFL Drafts, and I'm at 2019 now. All right. First round only, as you guys know. Um, number one, Arizona Car- Cardinals, Kyler Murray. That's a hit. Um, when he's healthy, the Cardinals are a threat. San Francisco 49ers at two. Nick Bosa, defensive end, Ohio State. That's a hit. His injuries have uh, derailed him a little bit. But when he's healthy, he's playing great. Three, the New York Jets, Quinn and Williams. Um... This is an interesting one, but um, for right now, I'd say hit, but not as big as a hit as the two people drafted before him. Las Vegas Raiders, Cleveland Farrell, they were the Oakland Raiders at the time, miss. Cleveland Farrell, I thought, was the worst pick of 
one of the two worst picks of the first round that year. And um, he isn't a star. And really, he's never owned up to the number four pick in the draft billing. Number five, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Devin White. Uh, that's a hit. Um, a huge star on a uh, Super Bowl winning team. He's not been good this year, but um, so I'd say it's a hit despite his pro football focus numbers being porous. Um, number six, New York Giants, Daniel Jones, miss. Um, this was predictable. I mean, come on. Like, you guys know how I feel about Daniel Jones. He's not a franchise quarterback. Sorry, that's a miss. Jaguars at seven, Josh Allen. Um, I'd say a hit. Um, yeah, he's obviously not as impactful as the Bills, Josh Allen. But he's been really good, but no one talks about him because he's on the crummy Jaguars. Number eight, Detroit Lions, C.J. Hawkinson hit. He's been tremendous. Um, good fantasy guy. It just sucks that he's on the Lions. And nine, the Buffalo Bills, Ed Oliver. Um, having a good year this year. So let's give it a hit. Ten, the Pittsburgh Steelers, they trade up for Devin Bush. Um, hasn't been good this year. But I'd say it. I'd say it's a hit, even though his pro football focus numbers are not very good. But I think he has a long way to go. Next up, the Cincinnati Bengals at 11, Jonah Williams. Um, this might have looked like a miss when he was out injured, but this is an absolute hit. As the um, He's really given Joe Burrow the proper protection. Green Bay Packers at 12 or Sean Gary. Um, I give this one a hit. He's been really good this year. And he's gotten better every year. The Miami Dolphins at 13, Christian Wilkins. This is another hit. He's another player that has improved year after year. Um, 14, the Atlanta Falcons. Chris Lindstrom. Um... This year is a hit. But am I going to give him a hit for the whole time? Yes. Very super underrated player. Oh, this is the easily the biggest miss of the 2019 NFL draft, let alone the first round. Washington football team, Dwayne Haskins. I mean, this is the biggest miss of a quarterback I could remember in a while. A bigger miss than Daniel Jones. A bigger miss than Mitch Trubisky. This is easily it. He's not even on the team anymore. And this was the player that I missed the most on. I thought this kid was going to be the next to Sean Watson. I was so wrong. The Carolina Panthers at 16. Brian Burns. Um... This is an interesting one because he's just shown flashes. But I'll still give it a hit. He's a solid player, not a star. The New York Giants at 17, Dexter Lawrence. Um, I'd say hit. 
He hasn't been as good as this year as his first two years. But he's still a serviceable player. Number 18, the Minnesota Vikings, Garrett Bradbury. Um, this is an interesting one, too. But I'm going to say miss. Um, I think there's been better linemen that were picked after him. The Tennessee Titans at 19, Jeffrey Simmons. Um, hit. He's been really good for Tennessee. Not just this year, but in his first two seasons as well. Um, the Denver Broncos at 20, Noah Fant. This is an interesting one. Um, you'd think he's a good fantasy guy and, and such, but his pro football focus numbers for this year are not great. And neither were there. And his rookie season. So, this is a controversial one, but I'm going to say miss. I think that um, Denver should have probably gone elsewhere in this draft. Maybe it's the quarterback play, but I don't think Noah Fant has really stood out. The Green Bay Packers at 21, Darnell Savage. Um, I'd say a hit. He's been a really good player for them in the secondary. Um, 22, the Philadelphia Eagles, Andre Dillard. Um, this is an interesting one because he heard his name in trade rumors and such. And he's barely played. So I'm going to say miss because the Eagles don't seem to like him. And they tried to trade him. So the tight, uh, the the Houston Texans at twenty three. Titus Howard, miss. He's just awful, just like the team. Twenty four. The now Las Vegas Raiders. Josh Jacobs hit. Um, Josh Jacobs made the Pro Bowl. Um. I think that him being hurt at times really has cost him. His numbers have been pretty good this year. And in the past, the um, Ravens at um, 25, Marquise Brown, I'd give that a hit. Um, as when he's healthy, he's a productive player. Um, 26th to Washington professional football team, Montez Sweat. Um, I'd say he's a hit too, um. Yeah, there was controversy when he drafted him, but he's gotten better since his rookie year. The Las Vegas Raiders at 27, Jonathan Abram. Miss. Um, none of these secondary guys that the Raiders pick year after year after year have seemed to work out. Um... Los Angeles Chargers at 28, Jerry Tillery. Um, this is another interesting player. But I'm going to say miss because the Chargers defense is really porous and he was supposed to help that. The Seattle Seahawks at 29, LJ Collier. Miss. Um, hated the pick at the time. Not productive. 30 to New York Giants, DeAndre Baker. Another huge miss. This is probably the second biggest miss other than um, Dwayne Haskins. Um, actually, on the Chiefs, not playing bad, but 
Um, he was just really, really bad when he was on the Giants, and uh, it's a miss of a pick because he's not there anymore. I didn't get anything for him for uh, off-field reasons, but still, that qualifies as a miss for me. The Falcons at 31, Caleb McGarry. Um, this is an interesting one, but I'm going to say miss, even though he's gotten better after his rookie year, but he's not up to par. And the 32 of the New England Patriots, and Kill Harry, miss um, better wide receivers that are taken later on, such as Debo Samuel, A.J. Brown, um, even uh, Mikhail Hardman, and obviously D.K. Metcalf, Terry McLaurin. So the Patriots, this is solely because they pass up on better receivers that are Pro Bowl caliber and Pro Bowl period for... And kill Harry. All right, so there you have it for hit or miss for the 2019 NFL Draft Edition. Now we move on to news and notes for the day. Um, the Jaguars won't rush the Urban Meyer decision. Owner Shad Khan, I want to do the right thing for this team. And the big story from yesterday is that Las Vegas is set the whole Super Bowl 58. In 2024, after New Orleans could no longer host. Quentin Grimes out against the Golden State Warriors tonight, so another Knicks player in COVID protocol. Um, Jalen Ramsey and Tyler Higby were placed on the COVID list before last night's game against the Cardinals, but they still survived without him. Justin Jefferson rips Odell Beckham Huyners. OBJ was not the problem, he says. The Bulls' next two games postponed tonight's game against the Pistons and then Thursday's game against the Raptors. Chris Middleton hyperextended his knee and didn't return in last night's game. And the winners of the Spencer Rattler sweepstakes, the South Carolina Gamecocks. So we'll see if Rattler... Um, is more the guy from this past year or the guy that we saw all the promise in. DeAndre Hopkins and Von Miller rep 88 on their helmets, which was very nice. Giants head coach Joe Judge not on the hot seat as the Giants are expected to bring back Judge despite the 4-9 start. This is just ridiculous. I mean, yeah, he overachieved last year and went 6-10 and 10 and was alive for the division on the last day of the season. But that's because the NFC East was terrible last year. And that wasn't about them. They're the worst team in their division easily. Daniel Jones is probably the worst starting quarterback in the division. Because Taylor Heineke's playing better than him and beat the Bucks and beat Daniel Jones and the Giants. Jalen Hurts with the exception of the game against the Giants, has been better than Daniel Jones this year. So, um, we'll see. I mean, sometimes reports are wrong. So, you never know. That could change and see how they look the next four weeks. But the case for keeping them is that the guys played for hard for him last year, and there was a lot of injuries and COVID stuff that went wrong for the Giants this year. Justin Verlander's contract got improved before the expiration of the CBA, the two-year $50 million contract he signed with the Astros. Lamar avoids high ankle sprain as he's expected to play on Sunday against the Packers. Kareem Hunt likely out week 15 due to an ankle injury. U.S. gymnastics reach is a settlement as the gymnasts who were abused by Larry Nasser. Coaches or others in the sport reach a $380 million settlement with USA Gymnastics and the USOPC. USC quarterback Caden Slovis enters the transfer protocol. We'll see where he goes. Kyrie Irving could return the season as the Nets have renewed optimism as Irving will come back after increasing contact with Durant in recent weeks. 
I predicted before the season that he was going to get vaccinated. I still stand by my word. It sounds like he's either gotten it already or will get it. So we'll see about that. An NFC scouting director says that Heisman winner Bryce Young would be the top quarterback selected if eligible in midweek class. I agree. He's better than everybody coming out. Absolutely. Um, APL America teams announced for college football. The quarterback is Bryce Young, as you would expect. Um, running backs Kenneth Walker of Michigan State and Brees Hall of Iowa State. The tackles. Ikem Iguono of NC State and Darian Kennard of Kentucky. The guards, Kenyon Green of A&M and Zion Johnson of BC. The center, Tyler Lindbrom of Iowa. Tight end, Trey McRiot of Colorado State. Receivers, Jordan Addison, Addison of Pitt, David Bell of Purdue, and Jamison Williams of Alabama. And the all-purpose player, Deuce Vaughn of Kansas State. Kicker, Jake Moody of Michigan. Ed Rutgers, Aiden Hutchinson, or Hutchinson of Michigan, and Kayvon Thibodeau of Oregon. Those are going to be the top two picks in the draft. Lineman Jordan Davis of Georgia and DeMarvin Leal of A&M. Linebackers Will Anderson Jr. of Alabama. Kobe Dean of Georgia and Devin Lloyd of Utah. Corners Ahmad Garner of Cincinnati and Roger McCreary of Auburn. Safeties Veron McKinley of Oregon and Jalen Petre of Baylor. Defensive back Marcus Jones of Houston and punter Matt Ariza of San Diego State. New college basketball 8P poll is out, and your number one team, your reigning champion, Baylor Bears. Two is Duke, three is Purdue, four UCLA, five Gonzaga, six Alabama, seven Kansas, eight Arizona, nine Villanova, ten USC, eleven Iowa State, twelve Michigan State, thirteen Auburn, fourteen Houston, fifteen Ohio State, sixteen Seton Hall, seventeen Texas, eighteen Tennessee, nineteen LSU, twenty Connecticut. 21, Kentucky, 22, Xavier, 23, Colorado State, 24, Arkansas, and 25, Texas Tech. How is the West Virginia Mountaineers not ranked? They just beat UConn. They have one loss against Marquette. And Marquette's not bad. It's totally disrespectful. And Texas Tech's ranked? Iowa State deserves it because they're unbeaten. But if West Virginia was unbeaten, they'd be in the top ten. But I don't understand why they're not ranked. And I think that Gonzaga is a little too high despite the two losses. Duke shouldn't be too. They have a loss. LSU should be higher. They're unbeaten. I could go on and on and on about the rankings this week. Um, Aaron Judge and Samantha Braxlick had a secret wedding in Hawaii. So congrats to Aaron Judge. And his new wife, Samantha. And the non sports news of the day um, is that the Dr. Oz show ends after 13 season at mid US Senate run. So, congrats to Dr. Oz for a great run of 13 years. All right, last but not least, my best bet of the day brought to you by FanDuel. I'm sorry, DraftKings say because. Um, Vandal's under maintenance today. Um, I am going to go with an NBA game. And despite Dame being back and no Aiton, I'm going to lay it with the Suns against the Blazers. So, I'm going to go with the Suns minus the one and a half. Against Portland. All right, so there you have it for today's show. I'll be back tomorrow recapping everything. From tonight, look ahead to tomorrow. Mass Singer finale tomorrow, so we'll preview and pick it on the show. Hope you guys have a great day, everyone.